Freddy here, welcome back to the Your Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Camellus Titanium Drop Point Knife. So stay tuned. So I'm doing the review on this inexpensive Camellus knife because somebody asked me to. As a matter of fact, I think I was asked at least twice or three times in the last couple of months. And um, I, I was going to grab one right away, but... My Walmart sold out within a week, and I just didn't grab it in time. I was very fortunate that I was walking through uh, last week, and one just showed up on the pegboard there. So I, I grabbed it real quick because I knew that y'all wanted a review. And I suspect that the reason why um, this may be popular for a lot of people is that it is very inexpensive. It only costs nine dollars and 97 cents so really the goal of this review is to determine whether or not uh, this is a good inexpensive uh, knife to maybe take camping or or maybe just something to keep in the vehicle if your local laws allow so let's go ahead and take a closer look i know some of you are going to give me crap about shop shopping at walmart again but you know what that's the only place I know you could get this knife. It is not even on the Camellus website. So my guess is they specially produced this for sale in big box stores such as Walmart or maybe only Walmart. I don't know. Um, if somebody knows, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Now, i got to sort of keep this halfway sideways to get it, keep it in view. But this is a 440 steel, type steel for the blade. Um, I'm assuming it's 440A, and we'll talk about that here shortly, and it does have the titanium nitride, carbon nitride coating, and it's a drop point, fixed blade, has a lanyard hole, and a non-slip grip. One other interesting thing is that it, they talk about their titanium bonded coating. Most Camellus knives advertise 10 times. I guess because it's so cheap and it, they sell it to Walmart, it only gets ten, uh, only gets three times. I don't know what the deal is with that, but um, all their other knives all say ten times, and you get a lifetime warranty right there, and you get the the blurb about you know the company being unparalleled and they've been around for 135 years, and that's a lie. Uh, the company has not been around, at least Camellus, in this form for 135 years. They were around. They went out of business. Um, the name was bought by a company called Acme United Corporation, where they're basically um, having these knives manufactured in China. Which, by the way, there's a big typhoon getting ready to, to hit there. So my, um, my prayers and, uh, and best wishes that you make it through there unscathed and uh, hope nobody gets hurt and, and everybody does well. So here's what you get in the packaging. You also get this paper here with some care for your Camellus knife and the one thing I'd like to just uh, point out is that they say to sharpen this with um, a stoner steel at 18 to 22 degrees. Also I, I may have misspoke in the last scene. They're 130 years old. Camellus the original company and they were established in 1876 but again that, that company's out of business and it's just somebody with the the new name Acme. Now this does come with a a sheath that's pretty pretty good for a ten dollar knife. I mean if you you're getting both of these for ten bucks so this is you know they had a manufacturer less than ten dollars um does have a snap which i do prefer over velcro for reasons that i've stated a million times on my channel now um besides just the single stitching which i'm not a big fan of they do add the rivets which i do like and actually this is a nice touch this is done uh pretty well i'm actually pretty impressed with this sheath for a a inexpensive sheath I mean, it's not it's not heavy, it's not thick, but it's not the fine ballistic nylon. It's the rougher kind, so it it's okay. It's okay. Um, let's see how it fits real quick, and then we'll talk about the knife. Just make sure we don't have any weird uh, floors or anything. And it fits in there pretty good. Let's see. Can we put this 
around here will it fit it's it's a tight fit and um, it's not going anywhere and uh, it's pretty quiet which is important when you're um, in stealth mode all right I'm gonna go ahead and put the sheath aside and then we could take a, a look at the knife now the one thing that stands out about this knife more than anything else is the grip this non-slip grip which has a um, rubbery a hard rubber kind of feel to it and it is very ergonomic very comfortable let's uh, see reverse grip it's actually more comfortable in the normal grip which is how you'll primarily use this anyway you can uh, hold it like this has a little place for your thumb right there I mean really it's a <laughs> it's a really good grip um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it now the blade is a four inch blade again it's 440 steel now they don't say what type of 440 again you have 440 a B or C and the big thing about uh, I'm going to assume it's 440 a because it's a cheap knife so and since they don't say it probably is the cheapest so we'll go with that assumption so you're looking at um, a blade steel in the you know if, if you look at all the different 440 class steels it's the one that has the least amount of carbon but um, because of that it has higher uh, stain resistance so it's the most stain resistance of the 440 however it has the the lower carbon so it's a little less a uh, um, little less strength there the HRC it all depends on the heat treatment is the hardness so it could be anywhere between 54 and 59 now the full length of this is nine and nine point seven five inches is the full length of this and again the blade is a drop point and it does have that titanium bonded uh, coating on here again it's three times stronger than steel not the ten times on most Camilla's knives it has a full tang now the um, it, it, technically it's a full length tang because full tangs normally you, you'll see the actual blade here in the handle but you don't it's in here so it, it's probably a full length tang there's probably like a, a piece of steel that's part of this blade that runs down in the handle you do get a lanyard hole right there you could uh, definitely get some 550 cord through there and as we have stated before it has a lifetime warranty I really <laughs> I really so far am impressed the uh, the only thing that stands out that um you know you could tell you're getting a ten dollar knife is that they don't tell you how thin this is and it is pretty thin um let me see if there's there's a uh, not much flex in there but it, it is a thin blade it's it's so it's probably good for slicing but it's not good for extremely heavy use so let's go ahead and do some tests and make sure everything is okay one other thing I'd like to point out is uh, the way this edge starts here. Really nice. Um, you don't have to worry about anything when you're you're sharpening it on your stone. And by the way, this is about a two-thirds, I'm sorry, about a two-fifths up hollow grind. You've got a nice flat surface there for clamp-on sharpening devices. So really good. Let's see how well this is sharpened out of the box. Whoops, that was my mistake there and it's uh very sharp let's see if i can push cut Eh, not really push cut but um definitely sharp enough to cut paper easily just uh, take a look yeah it grabs really good so it is uh considerably sharp out of the box no problem there next i'm going to go ahead and give it a wood stabbing test again this is soft pine um we'll get that in there good and deep and I know I'm going to get a comment. Of course. <laughs> I'm really uh, putting this in there. Good. Uh, I'm just going to shut up. Um, you can see I'm trying to break this tip. Let's take a look and see how well this steel did considering it's cheap. And I need to press the button for the autofocus before I bring that up to the camera. So I apologize for wasting your time. Um, let's take a close look there and you can see that um, even though it's an inexpensive steel 440A is pretty good and it uh, held up nicely let's uh, let's do this I'm gonna 
just uh, just do a little real quick. I'm trying not to scuff up my uh, my background here. All right, and just make sure it doesn't easily <laughs> get dull. Oh my God, it does. <laughs> it's fine. So let's go ahead and try to get the rating put together on this. The uh, we, we have a mixed bag here with the material for the handle. It, it's that softer, rubbery kind of handle, which is really good for, for gripping, and it feels extremely comfortable. I mean, ergonomics are right on. The problem with these softer rubber handles is that they tend to deteriorate over time and and you know I don't know because this knife just came out and I'm probably not going to use it enough to be a good judge of that so I just want to say that the possibility is there that this could sort of deteriorate and get beat up very easy because it is the softer rubber type handle. Um, the, the only thing that I could see out of the box that um, is not something that I personally like is the you know it's a very thin blade but that does make it a better slicer and I'll tell you, for ten bucks, for for ten bucks, this is actually a pretty good deal. I mean, I have not been a fan of Camilla's at all, and it's really surprising me that their cheaper, crappier knife is the one that's uh, maybe impressing me the most at this point. <laughs> I think the only other knife I like um, was the Pristine. I think it was called. Um, out of all those other knives that are out there, um, <laughs> it's strange. All right, um, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Absolutely a 9 out of 10. Again, I'm judging it based on its you know, price range, which is 10 bucks. So if your Walmart still has it and you're looking just for a beater, fixed blade knife, something to uh, maybe just do some camping with and, uh, you know, medium light duty, I wouldn't uh, go too crazy with the thin blade. But if that's what you're looking for, inexpensive that this is uh your answer okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel i really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you <laughs> okay you have a great day take care bye